do you have problems in your life that you're not addressing that you could solve? And the answer is yes. And it's an easy thing to figure out. You sit on your bed one morning and say, okay, there's some things that need to be done that I don't want to do, that I could do, that would make things better by the end of the day. What are they? Well, your, your conscience will deliver those suckers no time flat, man. <laughs> and then you might have to say, okay, well, how do I entice myself into doing a few of those? And if you ask, instead of trying to force yourself to do it, like you're a tyrant and a slave at the same time, you can usually negotiate with yourself so that you'll start to sort those things out. Sort them out. Put your house in order. And then move out. Move on. <laughs> and out. <laughs> yes. That's a Freudian slip, by the way. Yeah. So it's important because the thing is, you, you have a practice domain. Right? There are, there are things that are within your grasp that you could fix. Fix them. And you'll learn. You'll learn, because it's harder than it looks. Fix them, and you'll learn how to fix things. And then something else will beckon as another problem that you could fix. You know, you all have your problems. Well, what does that mean? Like, there's an infinite number of problems in the world. Some of them happen to be yours. Why is that? I don't know exactly. But you have your problems. Great. Solve them. You know, one of the things I learned as a therapist, every therapist has to learn this, is because one of the things you wonder when you're first starting to be a clinician is how do you not take the catastrophes of your clients home with you? And the answer to that is because it's immoral to. They're not your problems. They're their problems. Like, they're, they're their life. You know, your problems are your life. You don't want to solve someone else's problems for them because you take away the the deep meaning that's to be found in having them work through the problems on their own. And then you steal the credit. Well, I can help you with that. It's like, well, yeah, maybe, but I don't help you with the next problem then. So, in any case, you sort, sort out the problems that are right in front of you. And you will, it will make you grow very, very rapidly. And then you'll be able to sort out more complex problems without making them worse.